Hello and welcome to DIYDSP.com, the YouTube channel that hyper focuses on synthesizer knobs. What you are looking at before you is the legendary ARP 2600. This is one of the most amazing modular synthesizers in history. And how many different sliders does it have on there? Well, I counted already for you. There are 59 of them. In my last couple videos on this channel, I've talked about the large numbers of synthesizer knobs on various synthesizers. I've made a case for the fact that if you're going to build a digital synthesizer, you need a large number of analog inputs. I've pointed out how many microcontrollers do not have enough analog inputs to make a legendary synthesizer like this or any of the others I've shown on this channel. And therefore what you need is a multiplexer. And I've been showing you the analog multiplexer that I've designed. I've claimed that it's able to handle up to 64 analog inputs, but thus far I've only had enough hardware to connect together three of my boards by daisy chain. But now all of the parts have arrived. I can now put together eight of my analog multiplexer knob boards to show you 64 knobs. The only problem is I've just come back from vacation. I've spent two weeks relaxing on the beach and I am so mellow and laid back. I can barely even move to get out of bed. So I've decided to make this the 64 knob analog synthesizer multiplex soldering challenge to motivate myself. I'm going to attempt to solder together the remaining pieces of hardware in one hour. So I've made myself a big gigantic cup of coffee. Let's take on this challenge. Okay, here we are in my shop. We're about to lift off for the 60 minute 64 knob soldering challenge. I've got my time lapse camera started already. I've got my bench with all the parts ready to go. I've got a cup of coffee and I've got a nice YouTube video to keep me company as I work. The time on the council clock is 1048. I am pledging to you that if I do not finish soldering these circuit boards by 11.49, and I shall kill myself in the most disgusting manner possible. All right, wish me luck.
And we're back. As you can see, the time on the council clock is 1232. It took just about an hour and 43 minutes to do this. I thought it, well, I was hoping, I bet it would take about 60 minutes. Um, I'll go back and analyze and see. You know, there definitely was one big setback where I placed the wrong chip at the beginning. And I think the first, uh, that was this sign here. I think that that definitely cost me a certain amount. So, boy, and then th that made the first one take about 40 minutes, uh, 30 minutes. And then the second one was 49. So that's a differential of about 17 minutes. And by the end, if we look at the difference between five and six, uh, that would be thir that was about thir 13 minutes. So they definitely got faster as time went along. Let's see what we got out of this. So there's one of the boards. Here's another one. Here's another one. Here's another one. And here's another one. Um, oh, and here's number six. So I'm actually pretty happy about this. This is great. We've got six boards. Don't forget, in addition to the five knobs on these, there's also a uh, six, seven, and eight on the back where additional analogs can be added. So each one of these is actually capable of doing eight. So if we fleshed it out, this these six boards could do 48. Whoa, did I do that math wrong? I have to admit, I am pretty burnt out after that. That was a lot of work. I didn't think it would be that tiring. Ah, oh, I just feel like I need to wash my hands and uh, celebrate. You know, I didn't finish in the amount of time, but I'm really quite happy with this. So hang on tight. There's going to be another video coming up where I put these all into one massive circuit. And I'm going to try to do all eight boards daisy chained into one. And that will be a world first for this circuit. So uh, make sure that you subscribe and also click that, click that subscription bell so you know that it's coming up. All right. Thanks a lot, everybody.